Alright guys, well a bunch of you have been asking, so here you go, I'm going to show you how to do this. This is going to be how to install a ROM on your Galaxy S4, and this is going to be for um, build MDK or MJ7. Either one, this process is going to be exactly the same, changing a couple modules. That's going to be the only difference for you. So I'm just going to show it to you. I've already got it installed. I will go through this processes to install it in SafeStrap. But just to show you that it is functioning, now I haven't tested technically the um, 4G, 3G, that kind of stuff because I don't have this phone activated, but the um, Wi-Fi does work for sure. The other stuff should also function if you install the correct modules. So all that being said, this is the ROM running and it is uh, pretty slick. I do like it, obviously it comes with root access and I'm not really gonna go over the ROM too much. This is hyperdrive ROM. Um, and it says it's based on, I think, MJ7. But let's go ahead and just look at that really quick. So we're going to go into settings. Go to about phone. And here we go. So this is the version of RLS12. ROM build date, December 2013. Developer, donate. This guy's awesome. I recommend donating. Um, based on Android 4.3, just Jelly Bean. And then right here baseband version that does not get changed um, when you flash a ROM it stays whatever your stock ROM is and you can see my baseband version is MK2 so my stock system is MK2 um, but if you look at your build number right here this this ROM is based on MJ7 so right there is our build number and that's what we got you can also see that um, SE for Android status is enforced um, which this new safe strap works on uh, the enforced uh, SE for Android. So you can see all that information. Uh, I'm going to go over a couple quick prerequisites for you guys. Uh, so you're going to want to have your file browser, whatever file browser it is, and go ahead and download a couple things. So I'm going to show you what I have downloaded already. So I put these on my external SD card and these are my files. So let me explain this. First file here is SafeStrap and this has actually been updated again from the last safe strap so I can show you what it is. This is 3.71 so it is a little different. I have not tested installing ROMs on 3.70 but this has been updated I think today actually yeah today hash code updated this so the 27th of December so you're gonna wanna make sure you update to that safe strap. Follow my update video um, I already posted it. I'll put a link to it probably in the video description on how to update safe strap correctly and then you're going to want to download this file if you have MK2 properties. And this is the MK2 modules for the Galaxy S4. And I'll give you a link to all the modules. So whatever your stock system is, you need to download the proper matching module. And then lastly, you want to take this one and this is the zip. So safe strap RLS12. S4 safe strap build MJ7 zip. So that is the file. So those are the three files you're going to need. So let's really quick go ahead and reboot this device. So I'm going to hold down power. Oh, that's actually funny. It doesn't even have a reboot menu yet because I got to turn it on in, um, in here. So let me, I'll just show you that really quick how to turn that on. So you're going to go to settings. And we're going to go to hyperdrive tweaks. So here it is. You're just going to go right here. It says general and extended power menu. Do restart power off. We'll add those two to it. And now if we power off, there we go. So we'll just do a, uh, we'll do a restart. Go ahead and restart the device. And we'll go through the steps here of installing this ROM. It is very simple, not a really big thing to do a reinstall. Uh, so I'm just going to do an install just to show you how it functions um, and to get this going for you guys just to make sure we're all on the same page with it. So go ahead and hit into recovery. So hit that recovery button on the screen. There it is. 
and this is going to boot you into safe strap all right and you can see normally it would look like this i'll show you just so everybody's on the same page when you come in here it's going to look like the screen is going to look like this you're going to have things in red um up here it's going to say rom slot stock everything's going to be red because you're coming from your stock mdk build so you're going to go into boot options you're going to activate a rom slot and right here is going to be some options of like sizing and just take the center one which is data and bring it up to like 3000 uh, megabytes and then cache bring it up to 600 and you can leave the uh, system alone and then create it when you create it it's going to um, it's going to take probably it could be up to 10 minutes to create that ROM slot so be very patient with it and let that run when it's done you're going to come to this menu and it's still going to say ROM slot 1 right here so then you just click on it again you hit set set nickname you type in your nickname of your file and you hit go and you can back out and you'll have something like mine where it says hyperdrive so we're going to activate that slot it'll be activated for you but make sure that when you do any flashing it says ROM slot 1 if that's the one you have activated like I have hyperdrive make sure it says ROM slot 1 if it's in red do not flash anything to that it was a stock system and you don't want to do that so hyperdrive is activated ROM slot 1 we can back out we can go to um, we can go to installs and we don't actually even have to wipe anything because this one uses this ROM uses aroma installer normally you would do a wipe right there so you'd come in here and go to wipes and you would swipe across and it would do a wipe but we don't have to do that because of this ROM has its own installer so all you're going to do is say um, hyperdrive safe strap uh, right there that information there it's listed and then swipe across to install and you'll see right here how aroma installer is going to um, boot up and it'll give you tons of customization you kind of get to pick and choose what you want in your ROM which is just really nice absolutely love the features in that so here you can see the um, aroma installer launching and we're just going to go right through these uh, options they're pretty simple oh, you have to agree to the terms right there next through here full install um, it's, I would go ahead and do a wipe data factory reset pick Verizon make sure it's done uh, and then just these are picking all the applications you want to install um, and you can go through them I'm just going to kind of go with stock just to go through them all there's ES file uh, explorer my favorite file explorer right there I'm going to connect uh, Adobe flash stock theme looks good leave the stock kernel good and then next and it'll install so now we're going to go ahead and install hyperdrive on our device there's one really quick a very important thing we're going to do after this is installed that you got to pay close attention to how I do this so once it's done flashing I'll show you that process okay guys so here you go you can see that it's finished you're gonna hit next and then normally you'd say reboot I don't want to do that and I want to hit these three dots in the center and it's gonna have this little pop-up that says quit installer say yes quit installer because we need to go ahead and flash our last little thing so we're gonna go back a menu back a menu we're gonna to go to installs we're gonna select those MK2 modules because my base system like I said was on M2K if you're on MJ7 you're gonna to want to pick those modules and I'll give you links to them there you go make sure it's listed and swipe across and it flash reboot system now and that's going to be your full ROM install. Now this first boot up uh, is said that it can possibly take up to 10 minutes. So what you want to do is once it boots, um, like I said, up to 10 minutes for this first uh, boot up here. Um, let the thing kind of sit there and kind of marinate. Maybe log into your Wi-Fi and log into your Google account. Let it sync. And then and let it sit there for about 10 minutes and do a reboot and then after that you can go in and start playing with everything and you should be good to go so let's check out this boot animation it is pretty cool um, it basically is kind of talking about like the processing and it's doing like the same startup like you would see in like windows or something it's checking everything it's kind of a neat little um, boot animation okay so you can see this actually loaded up quite quickly this time um, probably because I've already have the ROM installed this isn't the first install of it and now it's uh, optimizing some applications and actually doing that quite fast as it is and 
your device is going to boot up here as soon as it's done. So I'll just show you that it booted. And that's going to be my install on the Galaxy S4 MK2 using new SafeStrap 3.71. I uh, hope you guys liked this in video. Hope it was informative for you. As always, I will keep continuing uh, updating you guys on this device as development happens on it. So, hope you guys like this uh, little video here of Hyperdrive using SafeStrap on MK2. Talk to you guys later. Root Junkie out.